Hey guys, your girl Steffi doing today I have for you a tutorial. Yes! I did this makeup look the other day and I decided why not film it for you guys, right? In the tutorial, I tried a new foundation to me. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Um, I truly still out on this, but so far, it looks good. I will be doing a 12 hour wear test and review coming soon on this. And everything I used in this video will be listed down below in order used and also Maybe I'll just have it pop up on the screen also, be easier, right? Yeah, uh, let's get this tutorial started, Kat. So I'm starting off with this Embryo Lease Primer. It's a moisturizer and primer. I love this stuff. A lot of celebrity makeup artists use it. I'm also going to use the Becca Ever Matte in just my T-zone area just to keep that all together. I'm using the MAC Prep and Pine 24 Hour Extend Eye Base on my eye area and my eyebrow area. It just helps the brow powder go on easier. Now let's zoom you guys in and brush these brows out. Now I'm going to use a MAC 208 angle brush to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. I am using the color chocolate and the darker of the two. I like to fill in the tail and then outline the bottom and then fill it in with the lighter of the two colors in the duo. So when I'm done filling them in, I just like to run a brush through the front end so it won't look so boxy. And now I'm going to use the MAC 195 Concealer Brush with the Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in the color Medium Deep. I believe I'm using the color NW40 to clean up my brows and I'm also going to use that all over my eyelid to conceal and to prep my eyes for eyeshadow. So I'm just going to blend that out and make sure it's all blended in. And then I'm going to set it with the color Warm Taupe by Anastasia Beverly Hill. After I applied it, I realized this wasn't the right color. Next time, I'm just going to use my Mineralize Skin Finish, which I used to set my brow area right here. Next time, I'm just going to use that. But this is just a Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Deep. So now it's time for eyeshadow. Using a Sigma E40 brush, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills color in the color Fawn just as my transition. So all through the crease in small circular motions and in windshield wiper motion just to distribute that all the way. So now I switch to a MAC 217 brush and I'm using the color Burnt Orange by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm running that in the same crease area in almost the same motions but at first I placed it flat side and then I turned the brush like perpendicular just to blend out the edges. With the same 217 brush, I'm going to deepen in the crease with the color Sienna. I'm just going to do the same thing, just pack it in and blend it out in small circular motions. And I'm doing just the same thing on this eye with the color Sienna. I just realized that this was probably the eye I should have filmed the tutorial with, but I'm learning guys, I'm learning, sorry. Now I'm just going to blend this out with a clean blending brush. This is just a Morphe M502 brush that I use to just blend things out. Now I'm just using a MAC 242 brush with the color Penny Metal, again from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is one of my favorite colored eyeshadows. I love this eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply this all over my mobile lid area, just packing it in. It's just slight padding motions with little short swipes, not like huge swipes to move it, but just like trying to pack it in with padding motions. And then I'm going to blend that out with the same 217 brush. So now with a MAC 221 brush, I'm just going to place some of this color. This is the color Beauty Mark by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Right now I'm just placing it and then I'm going to blend it out later. So now that the eyes are done, this is what it looks like for right now. And then let's move on to the face. So 
time for foundation. Now I'm using the Milani 2-in-1. I'm also using a Real Techniques foundation brush and I just pump some into a palette and then I brush it on and then I'll blend it out with the Real Techniques blending sponge. This technique has been working great for me. It's not dirty in my hands and I get a good even distribution with this foundation brush. I also like this brush because I get to clean up the top of my brow. As you can see, this foundation blends out so easily and it looks so good and natural on the skin. A review of it will be coming up. Now for highlighting. I'm using the same MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette and the same NW40 or it could be NC40. And I'm just using the same concealer brush that I used to clean up underneath my brow and I'm going to highlight my under eye area, down to my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and my cupid bow and part of my chin. And I'm also going to blend this out with the same Real Technique sponge. It's still damp. I'm just going to blend all of this out. Also, I'm just going to set the entire areas that I did highlight with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. See, like the thing with the under eye area, you have to get into like a weird angle, blend it out, and then hurry up and set it with powder. Now, I do not bake. I just like to set because I find baking, it's just a little too drying on my skin. And I have oily skin, so I don't even understand. But it's just too drying on my skin, so I don't bake. And then I'm going to set the entire face. This is a Tarte Kabuki brush, and I'm setting my entire face with the MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish in dark. And I just tap or pat this into my skin. Now that everything is set we're just gonna run back and finish the, the eye real quick this is a morphe b83 brush and i like to use this just to pass a little bit of the sienna underneath my brow well underneath my brow underneath my eye area and then blend it out with a clean morphe brush now this may be extra but i like to map out my eyeliner with the tattoo liner by kat von d but it's just not black enough so then i go in with a wet and wild liner to finish out my wing the wet and wild liner is so black like it's like really really black and matte and i love this liner I'm doing a little prayer and thinking the eyeliner gods because you know sometimes it can go wrong. Now it's time for contouring. I don't do crazy amounts of contouring. I just use the NARS Eda brush and this Tom Ford translucent finishing powder in the color 04 Sable and I do a light amount of contouring. I feel like this powder and this brush just gives me the right amount of natural looking contour without making me look too drag. And then I do go around my big ass forehead and you know try to chisel that down a little bit. Little bit. So I just like to run my MAC Mineral Eye Skin Finish with a big fluffy powder brush just to blend in the contour. And for my nose contour, I like to use a, this is an actual paint brush, this is a 217 Maxi Knot brush with the color Havana from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, just to clean up my nose. Now it's time for highlight. This is Becca's Topaz and I like to use this on the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, inner corner, and the underneath of my brow or the arch of my brow. And I'm using a M4, M149 brush to do this. Yes, M419. No, M149. What's wrong with me? Now I switched to the M501 brush just to do the top of my cheekbones and around my, you know, the good part to highlight because I find that this brush distribute, distributes highlight in this area better. And now, because you can't have enough highlight, I'm going in with So Hollywood because it's an Anastasia Beverly Hills day. And I'm going to go over those same areas with So Hollywood because I'm extra like that. Then I like to blend it in with the same fluffy brush just to, you know, get it to look decent and not too stark and too crazy. For blush, I'm using a Morphe E4 brush in the color Taj Mahal by NARS. And now I'm going to set my face with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix or Mist and Set Spray. I'm going to zoom you guys in and with my Better Than Sex Mascara, it's time for bottom lashes and top lashes. Yes! So this is what the eye looks like after everything. 
And now we're going to line my lips, or I'm going to line my lips with MAC Mahogany Lip Liner. I love this lip liner. I like to just line my whole lips. Actually, I'm going to fill in my whole lips for this look. So now I'm just going to fill in my lips with the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the style or the color Thule. And then I'm going to pop on some lashes. These are Model 21 lashes in the stacked style 16 and 20 or 16 and 45. Sorry, 16 and 45. So afterwards, I just like to run a little bit of black liner over it because sometimes the glue could pop come up white. But now the look is complete. Let me guys know how you guys feel about it. Like, subscribe, and it's your girl Steffi Joe. Hope you guys enjoyed the look. Mwah! See you guys next video. <laughs>